All right, welcome back to the channel. Today, we're going to show you how using inversions and maybe a couple fat chords, um, we can make a song sound completely different and very much more flow, very smooth, more smooth and even gospel-y. Um, so uh, let's get into it here. Um, we're going to be in the key of E flat. This is the <coughs> bridge or vamp of more than anything, and I'll put the chords up here for you. With the first chord, just the very basic is A flat. Okay, so we got an A flat there. Then we're going to go to a B flat, and I'm going to call out these notes when I show you how I play it, okay? Then we're going to do a B flat over C, just a regular B flat over C. All right, and then we're going to do a B flat over D, so keep the fingers in the right hand the same, and just do B flat over D. All right, then we're gonna do it just a regular E flat chord, okay? All right, then we're gonna do that again, A flat. Okay, B flat over C. And then we're gonna do no 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 you E flat again. Then we're gonna do F minor. All right, E flat over G. Then anything. If you just want the little note walk, it's G, G, E flat, B flat. Okay. All right. So that kind of sounds. I'm gonna play it without soppy. So. Sounds okay. And then you can do the whoops. But let's make this a little bit more smooth, okay? So what we're gonna do first is, is we're gonna take that A flat, which is the four, and we're gonna make that the chords say major seven. We're gonna make it a major nine. We're gonna make this a fatter chord. It's gonna make it sound a lot better. So instead of just the A flat, we're gonna drop our thumb down from the A flat to G. And I'll call all these notes out in a second. And we're going to add the two, which is B flat. Already that chord just sounds a lot fatter. And then the bass, we're going to add the E flat. Okay, so in the left hand, A flat, E flat. In the right hand, G, B flat, C, E flat. Okay? All right, and then I'm going to play a B flat 2 over C. Okay? B flat, C, D, F. B flat two over D, and you can kind of walk that into a B flat C, and then put it down. Like, okay, so I walked it all the way up, just same the same notes. B flat C D F. Okay, excuse me. I love you, Jesus. It says D flat over E flat on the chords here, <coughs> which is like a E flat 11, okay? So you're going to just do a D flat and A flat in the bass, okay? I'm sorry, E flat and B flat in the bass, forgive me. All right, and then, which is left hand, right hand, we're going to play a D flat 2 chord, okay? D flat, E flat, F, A flat, okay? So what this, this is basically a... E flat 11 chord because you've got the 7 of, uh, of E flat, which is a dominant 7. So it's like a E flat 7, add the nine, 2 and the 4 or the 9 and 11. Okay, because here's the 2, here's the 4 or 9 and 11. Okay, so it's a D flat 2 chord over E flat. That's E flat in the B flat in the bass, D flat, E flat, F, A flat in the right hand. All right? F way more funky air chord than just E flat. Right? So that's from 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 the top. Right back to the A flat again. A flat major nine. Alright, so I do a B flat. 
going to do, here's where it's going to change. We're going to invert the E flat to second inversion. Okay. So uh, E flat, if you just play it normal, E flat, G, B flat. We're going to take the B flat off the top and we're going to shift it down to the bottom. Okay. So I'm just playing E flat on the bass, B flat, E flat, G. Okay. All right. Then we're going to play F minor 7, but we're going to invert it to this. Okay. Now, what I'm playing is F in the left hand, C in the left hand. I've got that 1 and 5. Then I'm playing C, E flat, F, A flat. All right, so if you know F, A flat, and, and C is your F minor chord. So we're going to take the C from the top, put it on the bottom. Okay? Then we're just going to add the 7, the minor 7. E flat, okay? So... over G, which is that same inverted E flat, to the A flat. And then you can go back to that D flat over E flat if you want. D flat 2, and then do your which is again G, E flat, B flat, A flat major 9. See how much different that sounds? So Jesus And that's what fatting the chords up, but really the inversions take it to a whole different level. And part of the reason is, is when you invert the E flat, because we're in E flat and the melody is in E flat, your chord progressions and in this inverted F minor, it keeps the E flat in the E flat major scale, one, two, three, and four open in the right hand, okay? Right between your index and your pinky, if you see that. Right? And so you can hit a lot of those melody notes, the notes the singer is singing, very with ease, and the chords that you're playing are falling in those, like, melody note range. See how my fingers are always in that spot. See, so I can walk that F, walk into F minor, da, 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 G, uh, F. And do that G F note again into that E flat over G. Hit that F again. A flat major nine. See, it just it just flows right there with the melody, so easily. Okay, so um, that's just a, a, an example right here. Um, and I can take you. Uh, let me take you to an, a, a song that's even more simple, and just show you how doing inversions really takes it to the next level. Okay. So let's talk about how he loves the song. How he loves, yes, yes, and we'll just do the second chorus. Yes, he loves. Uh, all right, so we're playing regular C, okay? Then we're gonna play a regular A minor. Loves us, yes, he loves us so. Yes, he loves. All right, F. So C A minor G major F. So C C E G. We know that A minor is A C. G is G, B, D, and I'm just playing the one note in the bass, and then F, F, A, C, right? Well, watch this. We can change it if we invert the C, the one, okay, so that we can have that melody notes right between that pointer finger and that pinky finger. So G, C, E, okay, second version there, over C. Yes, he loves us. And we're going to keep our hand right there and not move it and just change the bass note to an A. 
because that's also a minor seven chords okay and look at and you can go back and watch my three chords to play any song to see why that makes sense but that's a minor seven g c e over a then i'm gonna play a g2 okay g a b d over g and d and an f major seven and then I'll just kind of let, I'll hit it once, which is including the E, F, A, C, E, over F and C. And then I'll just come back to that E. Either I'm, I'll let off that E and just play a regular F. Okay. But then you can do something cool. You can add the melody with it. So you can do, you can, or like the melodic notes. So I can do like, yes, he loves us. Oh, how he loves us. Those notes are just E, D, F, E, okay? E, D, F, E, and I'm just playing the one and five in the bass, the A over E, and then that I'm playing kind of that same C configuration here. Da, 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 da. And then what I'll do is I'll just take out the middle notes, I'll play G over D over the G, and I'll just do the G in the right hand and then the the melody da, 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 and then i'm just gonna play a c note that's it and then the f okay over f over c and that's kind of and you could do that your hand doesn't have to move because you're in the right place because that c inverted chord right so yes So inversions change everything. It changed the whole dynamic, right? And you can do that with any song and kind of put the melody in with it. And you don't have to do the melody the whole time right there. Like a lot of times I'll when we're playing full, I'll play the full chords. Uh, and I'll just hit that F over E. play a couple of the notes in the melody the key ones that that uh f to e um but the inversions allow me to do that and it allows some songs to play a lot more smooth because you invert it like that and when you have to move chords quickly because you invert that it changes everything all right so like yeah, i'm gonna be in b flat and i'm gonna play a little bit more complicated chord progression here and i'll call it out for you but i'll show you how i'm gonna play it first and then i'll break it down but i'm gonna show you how because i'm doing the inversions here i can play it very quickly um and if i'm playing a fast song or it's a quick like a uh, passing chord type deal it'll work right so i can do something like <laughs> Moved, I moved pretty quick, and so what I'm doing is I'm doing a B flat two, so I'm doing B flat in my bass, F B flat C D, okay. Then I'm going to an F two over A, okay. So A in the bass, left hand, the right hand is F G A C, okay. Then I'm playing this chord, which is a, a D seven flat nine, okay. D in the left hand, all right, and then like a G flat diminished chord in the right hand, G flat, A, C, E flat, all right, to a G minor nine, okay, so that's G and D in the left hand, F, 
A, B flat. Uh, I even include the C and the D. All right, the D mostly, but I'll throw the C in there too. So it makes it like a minor eleven almost. Okay. And then I'm gonna do an E flat major nine. E flat and B flat in the left hand. I'm inverting this E flat. Um, I inverted the B flat right, and I'm gonna invert this E flat to G. B flat, D, E flat. Uh, I, I skip the E flat and do F, which is the two. So that's the major nine chord over E flat and B flat. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna. So I'm walking G, D, C, B flat, and then when I get that G flat, I'm gonna play an E flat minor six chord uh, and it's inverted so e flat b flat in the left hand i'm gonna uh, do g flat b flat c and e flat e flat minor six okay minor and um and i walk into that doing g d c b flat okay so i could do it Actually, um, my bad, I didn't do the G. I walked into it from the E5. E5, D, C, B5, G5. Now, you don't have to, I wouldn't necessarily play that chord progression fast, but I can. I can because of the inversions that I'm playing my hand you notice is not leaving this kind of brick here so I could play that and if you're trying to play a regular B flat and B flat major nine or anything and they go to the E flat like G minor and then F and then try to go up here for your E flat chords all your and then back to E flat minor it, it's just not going to work out it's not going to sound the same It's not gonna sound the same. So inversions really can change how your songs sound, and it's gonna help you be more smooth, let you be able to do note walk-ins from chord to chord and not be going against the melody or harmonies of a song. And um, it's going to allow you to move more fast. Um, if you need to change chords faster, those uh, inversions will help you do that. So I hope this helps you with inversions and how they really can change the way you play a song. Thank you for watching this video and I hope this helps.